I am Dr. Neema Bisht, BDS by degree and a pharma professional. I am founder of Career in Pharma, wherein I provide guidance and training to healthcare professionals and life science graduates on how they can make career into pharmaceutical industry. Till date, we have guided and trained more than 500 students and many of them are now placed into various companies also under my guidance. Also, I want to tell you that beware of fake people who are operating under the name of Career in Pharma or by my name. So to connect with us, please see the description below for all the links and also you can see the mail ID provided in the description box. Hello everyone, once again I welcome you all to Career in Pharma. So today in this video I am going to talk about the difference between pharmacovigilance and clinical data management. Now, why it is important to understand so that you will be able to know what basically the work we have to do inside these two profiles and what is the impact of the work so that you will be able to understand the things and accordingly you can apply as per your skill and as per your educational qualification and uh, along with difference I'm going to cover uh, the difference in five subtopics. So first I will tell you what basically the field is. Uh, basically, we work in pharmacovigilance mein and clinical data management. Separately, I will tell you. First, I will tell you pharmacovigilance and then the same five subtopics I am going to take for clinical data management as well. Or parallelly, I am going to differentiate the things one by one. So first, I will tell you what the field about काम क्या करते हैं actually उसका impact क्या है. दूसरा what skill set is required basically for both. Third is educational qualification wise which is best suited for whom. So I am going to tell you what educational qualifier qualification is best for which field. Fourth, I talk about the salary range at the pressure level for both pharmacovigilance and data management. And four, I will tell you which one is, uh, I would not say best, see both are good, but in which field more opportunities are there and what is the reason for more opportunities. And last, that is the sixth point, I'm going to tell you the top profile name at a pressure level for both pharmacovigilance and data management so that you can look for jobs at a pressure level for both the profile inside various job sites. Yeah. Now, first of all, before beginning the main agenda, let me tell you that see pharmacovigilance and data management, clinical data management, they are two verticals of pharmaceutical industry. So in pharmaceutical industry, we have so many verticals I'm going to talk about. I will be sticking just to pharmacovigilance and clinical data management. Okay. So let's begin the video. Uh, and I hope I will be able to give you authentic information and to the point so that it, it will help you in your job hunt journey. So first of all, what is pharmacovigilance? So basic of pharmacovigilance and then basic of clinical data management. So basically pharmacovigilance is the phase when starts, which starts when the drug is in market after successful completion of the clinical trial. Okay, clinical trial ho gaya hai. Or when medicine drug is in market for selling, marketing, and when all the public journal public are using the drug, then starts the pharmacovigilance that we call as post marketing surveillance. Also, now pharmacovigilance is nothing but it is simply the collection of the data, and then through that data we are detecting, assessing, monitoring, and preventing the adverse effects and other drug related problems. So, it's not that we are only detection, assessment or prevention so that we can prevent side effects or just side effects. No, we are also diagnosing other things. Means, other drug related problems means we want to check that if there is no duplicacy of any drug, if there is no manufacturing related defect, yes, and there is no, you know, product quality complaint sometimes Let's say, for example, syrup, which is normally com comes in yellow color, but uh, when any patient is purchasing it, it is like rustic color. So that is something product quality complaint. And we are not just detecting the uh, 
these problem related to drug only it is equally applicable for uh, not just for drug for devices also that we call as materio vigilance for medical devices but yeah that is a part of pharmaco vigilance only where we are continuously keeping a check on drug as well as device yes so this is pharmaco vigilance and the impact of pharmaco vigilance means jo bhi hum data collect kar rahe hain aur uske basis pe after reviewing that data uh, no pharma company are able to decide that whether to continue the drug into market or to ban the drug from market to withdraw the drug from market or to add new side effect or to add new drug drug interaction or whatever it is in the leaflet of the drug so that is the impact of the work we are doing inside pharmaco vigilance okay and it's all related to patient data so the assessment detection review everything we are doing is on data only there is no live patient as a pharmaco vigilance professional we have to see we have to just go through the data now clinical data management is what first of all clinical data management is the management of data which comes through the clinical trial so clinical data management is collection integration and validation of clinical trial data so ek bahut hi common difference to ye hai clear cut difference is in clinical data management we are managing the data which is coming through the clinical trial means still clinical trial is on whatever data is coming through clinical trial phases be it phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 whatever it is that data we have to manage inside clinical data management branch but pharmaco vigilance we are managing the data which is coming when the drug is in market when the clinical trial is over okay so clinical data management again collection integration and validation of clinical trial data now inside clinical data management Uh, so various data comes through the clinical trial we have to collect it integrate and validate it and based on this activity which any clinical data management professional do the success of clinical trial depends a lot because guys in today's technology driven world and especially for clinical trials data is very important in every field data is very important yeah like we already say and it's a well known saying that if it's not documented it's not done means verbally hum nahi kuch bol sakte right so for everything we need document yeah and if there is a huge document data then definitely we need professional to manage it also that is clinical data management now where this all data goes this data goes for analysis statistical analysis this data go to regulatory authority so that any pharma company can get approval to start the clinical trial or to market the drug otherwise they will not be able to get approval even to start the trial also so in clinical data management uh, whatever data is coming from clinical trial data as well as pre clinical trial uh, pre clinical data also the team has to manage uh, by using various tools so in fact is based on this data Uh, the success of any clinical trial data depends and also the pharma company can get approval for uh, you know the drug to market once they have a clean data validated data that they can submit yes so this is the impact now as i already told you the major difference pb is for post marketing clinical data management is when the trial is uh, going on so this is the basic work we do inside this field both are data driven industry okay pharmaco vigilance is also data data driven industry cdm is also data driven industry we are not dealing with any live patient impact kya hai wo bhi maine bata diya agar pv nahi hogi to hame koi naye side effects pata nahi chalenge agar naye side effects pata nahi chalenge to kaise pharma company update karenge leaflets aur kai baar there are major side effects also which pharma company needs to know so that they can withdraw the drug so ultimately patient safety we are impacting a lot inside pharmaco vigilance similarly for clinical data management agar data hi nahi hai clinical trial data ka clean data hi nahi hai validated data hi nahi hai to how a pharma company can get approval for any drug to to market to sell it into market yeah so impact is very clear now now the second thing is what the skill set is required now skill set wise if i talk about pharmaco vigilance See inside pharmaco vigilance, whatever data you have to go through, that will be a 
पेशेंट डेटा जिसमें कि पेशेंट की मेडिकल हिस्ट्री सर्जिकल हिस्ट्री अदर पास्ट हिस्ट्री फार्मोकोलॉजी ड्रग की फार्मोकोलॉजी एवरीथिंग विल बी देयर सो स्किल वाइज इफ यू आर अ पर्सन हु हैज अ गुड कमांड ऑन फार्मोकोलॉजी एंड जर्नल मेडिसिन कॉन्सेप्ट यू नो मेडिकल कॉन्सेप्ट इफ यू हैव अ गुड कमांड दैट इज समथिंग एजुकेशन वाइज आई वुड से द स्किल सेट so that is very important if you have a good command on pharmacology medical concept you know then definitely it's good to go for pharmaco vigilance along with that few it skills also required skill set for example you know basic of excel sheet basic of microsoft powerpoint and uh, also microsoft presentation powerpoint and microsoft word document only basic you need not to be pro at a fresher level because this is a continuous thing you have to do in job so definitely with job you will be excelling in this skill set also but the basic knowledge of pharmacology and medicine is very important for pharmaco vigilance see even if you don't have pharmacology medicine subject in your graduation i am not saying you will not be able to get a job you will be able to get a job but going forward you will feel challenging because when anything which is not clear to you or you know uh, the uh, uh, concepts the basics are not clear to you then you may feel challenging for pharmaco vigilance pharmacology medicine knowledge is required now for clinical data management also the skill set whatever is required for pharmaco vigilance microsoft word excel yeah uh, and uh, powerpoint these are the basic it skill other than this uh, you know uh, inside data management uh, Uh, technology wise the technology use is more in data management we use more tools inside data management technical tools as compared to pharmaco vigilance see inside pharmaco vigilance also we have software but as compared to pharm- pharmaco vigilance clinical data management has more tools more technical it is so if you are a person who loves technology okay if you love to play with technical tools Uh, with basic it skill set also then definitely for you it's good to go for data management okay now i will talk about educational qualification wise uh, who all are best suited for what so pharmaco vigilance like i already mentioned if you have a good sound knowledge of pharmacology if you have interest in pharmacology if you are very good in medical concept you love medicine you love to read about drug disease and all those stuff then definitely you should be going for pharmaco vigilance Uh, so for that education qualification as we all know if you are a mbbs you can get inside pharmaco vigilance bds physiotherapist nursing graduate even pharmacy graduates all those who have pharmacology medicine with them and these are the subject in your graduation yeah for clinical data management if you don't have these pharmacology medicine also then it's good to go for you because inside clinical data management not so much of knowledge i would say not a knowledge of pharmacy pharmacy and pharmacology and medicine surgery is required for data management and so uh, you know any life science graduate and if you are a microbiologist even a biotechnology graduate you are you are like best suited for clinical data management so biotechnology graduates are also best suited for uh, material vigilance material vigilance that is the vigilance on medical devices for biotechnology graduates specifically yeah so this is the educational qualification wise who is best suited for which field now fourth is what is the salary range see salary range could range between something between 2.5 to 4 lakh for both of this field both for pharmaco vigilance also for data management also now it is multifactorial if i talk about pharmaco vigilance it depends on what is your basic qualification graduation qualification if you are post graduate also how was the your interview how much knowledge you have how was your interview and uh, you know if you have any additional uh, publication and all those stuff on your name this is like add on for you and on based on that your salary may range between anything between 2.5 to 4 lakh ctc at a fresher level so at a fresher level there is not so much of variation to start but when you grow in your job and you add on more skill you learn more things then definitely how you are making your path going forward when you are experienced that will depend your salary and which varies a lot means 
two people who have same years of experience in any field not necessary both will be having same cities yeah so depends on how much hard working you are how much you are going to give to your company how much you are you know learning to new things how much you are adding new skill to your life that depends your salary at a experience level otherwise pressure level it's same irrespective of your graduation degree also now fifth is opportunity wise which one is best see first of all if you say which one is best i would say in this world everything is best yeah nothing is bad or good even data management is also good pharmaco vigilance is also good both are good because going forward experience and promotions your success all depends on how you take it even many times many people in data management says that it is good than pharmaco vigilance people in pharmaco vigilance they say that it is good than data management and vice versa also true yeah pharmaco vigilance people say data management is more good data management people say pharmaco vigilance is more good so entirely depend on an individual how you are taking it how you are progressing with job otherwise if i talk about opportunity wise so always remember this opportunity are always more in pharmaco vigilance now why there is more pharmaco vigilance opening because see whenever any clinical trial is running we have a limited set of data and we have limited set of clinical trials running right but pharmaco vigilance is something which happens on all kind of drug it is not that the drug which is new in market only on those pharmaco vigilance happens no old drug also which are there in market pharmaco vigilance is a continuous process because for any drug if we want to identify the manufacturing related defect which can be specific to any specific lot also so for that this pharmaco vigilance should be a continuous process it is a continuous process for all the drugs old new everything so definitely opportunities are more inside pharmaco vigilance opening are more inside pharmaco vigilance and you can also verify it whenever you are searching for job you could have seen that you know you must have seen that there are more opportunities openings inside pharmaco vigilance as compared to data management now last is what are the job profile name at fresher level for both of this yeah so for pharmaco vigilance the profile names are uh, safety associate drug safety associate pharmaco vigilance associate pharmaco vigilance executive yeah medical reviewer for mbbs drug safety physician drug safety reviewer and sometimes pharmaco vigilance officer also so these are all pharmaco vigilance profile name at a fresher level you can look for job with these for data management the profile name at fresher level are clinical data coordinator clinical data reviewer clinical data operator clinical data management trainee so with this profile you can look for job inside data management yes so this is all about the difference between pharmaco vigilance and data management uh, how is the uh, what is basically the work what is the impact the skill set required education qualification salary range opportunity wise which one is best and top profile name at a fresher level i hope this video is going to help you in best possible ways and i hope i i was able to give you the authentic information and um, with this i'm going to conclude this uh, video and guys please if you feel this video is informative if you feel this uh, video really help you then please like this video and please share to your friends also who want to come to pharma industry and share it to you maximum and please subscribe to our channel because we'll be coming soon with some next fresh video again which is going to help you a lot yeah so we'll be coming soon with some next fresh video till the time i come again till then stay safe healthy aware updated and relaxed and be happy bye bye all of you